Hello everyone, James Breen again. Um, I wanted to uh, put a little video presentation together on how to use Fiery System Restore. <clears throat> so starting with FS200 and above, um, the most all of those Fiery's have a Fiery System Restore which you can get to from Web Tools. What can you use it for? Well, <clears throat> if you launch Web Tools, whether you're actually on the Fiery itself or whether you're connected to a PC on the network that has access to the Fiery IP address through a browser, um, you know, you'll get to web tools and this little double arrows here is your fiery system restore. So some of the things that you can do in here, uh, I covered a video earlier about how to set up an automatic backup. <clears throat> well, also you have the ability to create a manual backup, right? Now the difference between the two is obviously this only runs if you manually do it. Um, at the time that you're doing a backup, you can select whether your backup's going to a USB device or whether it's going to the internal hard drive. Now I don't recommend going to the internal hard drive for a couple reasons. Uh, one is we already have a uh, image on there that comes from the factory. It's a, a fiery factory image which I'll explain to you in a minute. Um, and the other thing is if you lose the hard drive you lose your backup. So USB is always your best bet. <clears throat> Most of these images um, are small enough to fit on a 32 gig thumb drive. Uh, you just have to make sure you format the drive ext fat before you uh, use it as a backup. All right, so that's one feature. The other is the restore itself. So if I've ran an automatic backup, I've set an automatic backup and it's scheduled to run by itself, it'll be an available option for me to restore from. If I've done a manual backup, it'll be an available option. But I mentioned that there's already an image on every firing. Every Fiery shipped out has a Fiery recovery partition. It's hidden so you can't see it in the file system, but if you were to use this restore, it's an option that you can restore from. So, the example is if you're working with someone and they tell you to reload Fiery system software, and that's the first answer they give you, they don't even do any diagnostics, do yourself a favor. Don't go through that five hour restall process with the DVDs. Go to your restore option, click here, and it's going to go out and look for restore points. All right, so you notice the top one says restore from local image. That's because I have an automatic backup that's already ran on this. And it's letting me know that I can restore from that image. All right. The other one is restoring from a USB drive, a storage location that I have designated. And look at this last one, restore from the Fiery factory default. If you had not set up an automatic backup that's running weekly, this top one here would not be here. If I had never done a manual backup, this option would be here, but you wouldn't have anything to restore from. So this would be my only and best option because at least I can get the Fiery back to the way it was when it came out of the box. Now, do you lose all the customer's special setups and paper catalogs and fonts they may have downloaded and workflow presets and patches and Windows updates? Yes, you do. So. This is not your best backup, but it is if that's the only one you have available. So my point in showing you this is that you do have a place to recover from if you haven't done any kind of backup, but do yourself a favor and have a backup available. All right. So just a little tidbit about the restore. Um, if you go to web tools and you do not see this here, you're on an older Firebase that doesn't have this option. All right. But use this to your advantage. It's there. It works nice and it's easy to do. All right. Thanks, guys.